All right, welcome back. In this session, we're going to be learning another advanced mate called the linear mate or the linear coupler mate. What's a nice thing about this feature is that you can mate two different linear paths together to make a certain effect. Either by moving one, you'll move the other, or you can move one and the other one will move at a second or a different speed. Let's go ahead and learn about that. So right now I got these two rails and these two blocks that are riding on those rails. For example, if I take this block and move it back and forth, you can see that they move separately than each other. Okay. Well, what if I want to mate them together where moving one will affect the other? Let's go ahead and learn that. So click on mate. Scroll down until you get the advanced mate and open that up. Scroll up until you see the linear or linear coupler mate. And then click on it. All right, now go up here to see under the mate selection. So under the mate selection, you're going to have to select the face of the first uh, linear block, which is this one. And then the uh, face of the second one will be over here. So if you actually select the first one, you're going to notice that it jumps all the way to here. That's because these are just for references. So you can actually reference a certain part if you like, but we won't use that. And select the second face. As you can see, now it jumps to the bottom where you will see a ratio and we'll learn about that in a little bit. Right now you will see a blue and a purple highlighted block. The blue and purple are right here and that's for the ratio. But before we use that, let's go ahead and click on OK to see what happens and accept that. So now if you move one block, you're going to notice that the other block moves with it. So you can do that with both blocks, obviously. Move one block and the other one will move with it. Let's go ahead and click on under mates. Click on the linear coupler mate that we just created and let's go ahead and change this ratio to two. Okay, so now this ratio indicates the speed. Okay, so now when you move one, the other one's going to move either twice as fast or twi twice as slow. For example, let's click on OK to accept that and take this block and start moving it. And you're going to see that the other block starts moving twice as fast. So when I'm over here, they're right next to each other. When I'm midway through the block, you're going to notice that this one is all the way to the, at the, at the edge of the rail. So this block is moving twice as fast and you can also do the same thing moving this block as well. Okay, so you can also click on that and you can, if you switch those up, so you can click, type in one over here and type in two over here, click on OK. You will notice that the same thing goes on the other side. Now they're reversed. Okay, and also if you click on that and click on the reverse over here and then click on OK to accept it, you're going to notice that now the path is reversed. So when I move it this way, you can, you'll can you notice that the block goes the other way. And when I move this this way, the uh, path is reversed. Okay. So if you want to reverse a selection, if you want one to go one way and want to go another way, uh, when you move one or the other, that's when you click on the reverse section. Okay. So I'm going to click back over here, click on that to go back to normal. And now when, and you see when I move one, the other one moves twice as fast. And that's how you use the linear or linear coupler mate in SolidWorks.